Hello, I'm Katherine Burton-Jones, Director of the Graduate Program in Museum Studies at the Harvard Extension School and the instructor for this course. I've been in the museum business for many years, starting out as an archaeologist for the state of Florida, working for a variety of museums throughout New England, and coming to Harvard two decades ago. As an archaeologist and museum professional, most of my work has revolved around how technology can be used for both fields. Technology was first used in museums for collections management. A group of museums in New York City led the way in creating computerized systems to track and catalog collections of art, archaeology, and history. These systems have evolved with the technology industry to be more prolific and robust. Museums now use technology in every aspect of work they do from the programmatic side or mission-based side to operations. In the last year, Forbes magazine and others reported on how technology is transforming the museum. Gallery One, a multimedia wall at the Cleveland Museum of Art, is cited as an example. So while technology has been used in museums since the 1960s, it is this public-facing aspect that is drawing attention. Technology is being used to engage visitors in new ways, in galleries, and online using the web and social media. Museums are also responding to the way younger generations use technology and how they like organizations to communicate with them. For example, the Pew Research Center reports that with the exception of those 65 and older, Facebook is used by a majority of Americans across a wide range of demographic groups. Museums continue to use the web as a primary vehicle for static information. For information that is more dynamic, they use Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Each platform has its own strength, format, and tone. For example, Instagram is used primarily for images, Twitter for short bits of timely and topical information, and Facebook for slightly longer informational pieces as well as fundraising campaigns. During this semester, we will learn about the history of computing in museums, how to plan a technical infrastructure for your organization, as well as the importance of technology in all parts of the museum. We will look at the varied social media platforms, who uses them, how to use them effectively in your own museum. This course will forecast what is on the horizon based on research by Gartner, one of the leading sources on technology and its use. Technology can be seen as an enabler for museums, allowing the museum to drive its mission forward and to reach a global audience. It must be seen in the context of what the, muse what the museum has set out to do in its mission. As new technologies emerge, there is a jump to try new and shiny technologies. We will put these newer technologies into context so that wise and sustainable decisions can be made. During this, during this semester, you will join the course weekly through web conference. Another way to participate in the course is through our discussion board on the course website, through social media-like posts and interactions. We will have three assignments, a short one to begin, in which you discuss how you think museums use technology, a midterm, uh, which will be a short essay on how a set of technologies might be used to solve a problem in the museum. The final will be a longer paper detailing the setup of a strategic technology plan for your organization. Instructions for each assignment will be on the course website. The writing style required for this course and for the Museum Studies program is the Modern Language Association style, or MLA. Classes are two hours each week, with the first hour generally being a lecture and hour two being an open discussion on the readings for that class. We would like you to leave this course with an appreciation of how technology is used throughout the museum in public-facing places like exhibitions, online, and behind the scenes in collections management and conservation. I can't wait to meet you in class and thank you for joining us.